This is a great time to mention the simple but important fact that A and A transpose have identical eigenvalues. Not the eigenvectors, just the eigenvalues. And that, of course, is based on the fact that the determinants of A and A transpose are equal. So let us demonstrate, based on this identity, why it is that the eigenvalues of A and A transpose are the same. Well, let's go over how we determine the eigenvalues of A and then compare it to A transpose. We begin by calculating the characteristic polynomial. And this time I'll label it P sub A because in a moment I will calculate P sub A transpose, which will be the characteristic polynomial corresponding to A transpose. But going back to P of A, it is calculated by subtracting lambda from the diagonal of A, which we write in matrix form like this, and then evaluating the determinant of the resulting matrix. And I will leave it in this matrix form and actually won't write out the whole matrix, even schematically. That would be the matrix A with lambda subtracted from the diagonal. Because I think that at this point, you can actually visualize what's going on when you look at an expression like this. All right, so this right here is the characteristic polynomial in terms of lambda for the matrix A. Let's now calculate the characteristic polynomial for the matrix A transpose. And I think that you're beginning to see what's going on. So here we go. We have to follow the same procedure, but this time for A transpose. And it involves subtracting lambda from the diagonal of A transpose, which we once again write in the matrix form. And then evaluating the determinant of the resulting matrix, and this is the characteristic polynomial for A transpose. And I think you now see what's going on. Just by visualizing what we're doing, you realize that the matrix inside the determinant symbol, the two matrices, are the transposes of each other. You just have to visualize A and A transpose and subtract lambda from the diagonal of A and lambda from the diagonal of A transpose. And you realize that the two resulting matrices are the transposes of each other, and so the determinants are the same. Now, I just want to point out that you can do the same thing algebraically as we just did with our imagination. Now, algebraically, these two matrices don't quite look like the transposes of each other, because A is transposed, but the second part is not transposed. Well, we can easily add the transpose sign to the identity, because the identity matrix is symmetric and it transposes itself, once again the identity matrix. So we can replace I with I transpose for free, and now you see algebraically that the two matrices within the determinant symbol are the transposes of each other. Therefore, their determinants are equal, and we conclude that the characteristic polynomials for A and A transpose are actually the same. And if they have identical characteristic polynomials and identical characteristic equations, then they have identical eigenvalues. So there you go. This was a very simple demonstration of this fact. So this fact is indeed very simple, but like I said before, very important.